big hand for Kurt Kirkpatrick. Really and truly, is this guy not a guy who is given to this community? Kurt, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. I mean, there have been so many instances through the years where he and so many others who have put this event on have stepped forward to serve this community. And this, more than anything else, is what we need, not only in the governor's seat, but in each of those that you've listened to folks about. We need people that will serve the public. We need public servants. We need to return some semblance of what that means. Politicians weren't intended to make career paths out of being politicians. And in this race, I'm telling you, it's the truth, and we know it to be so. Because there's nothing that good that comes out of it, frankly, on either side of the aisle when we have people who become farther and farther removed from who we are. I was reminded of this in some measure. Today I had an opportunity to be 350 feet down and a couple miles in, not too far from here. And the very lights that are shining on us right here, the very microphone that is projecting our ability to speak to you, is being po powered by a resource that we in this state are blessed with an abundance of. And yet we take for granted every time we flick a switch. But there are people that are busting their ta tails day in and day out, down under the ground, so that we have a luxury of something that much of the rest of the world is not able to take for granted. And whether it's people working in our coal mines, whether it is people that are working in little auto shops fixing things for people so they can get here on time, or whether it's people that are serving the food that we'll eat when we walk out of here. We are blessed to live in the greatest nation on earth that didn't get here by accident. There's a lot of things we could talk to you about in five minutes about politics, but I would encourage you above all else, on November the 3rd, please vote. You're going to hear from myself, you're going to hear from Jack Conway. You'll have a distinct choice. We're two very different people. But do make sure you vote. One and a half million Americans have given their lives, have died in uniform to allow us in the course of 12 hours to spend two to three minutes to cast our vote, yet not even one third of us in this state are likely to do so. Shame on us. We say we want a better Kentucky. We say we want a better America. How badly do we want it? Because if there is not within each of us some willingness to give some kind of sacrifice that those who have preceded us have given to afford us the ability to gather here freely, in the public square, freedom of assembly, freedom of speech, freedom of all the things that we take for granted so often, if there is not within us some willingness to give of ourselves, we don't deserve a better future. The next generation behind us demands some degree of sacrifice from us. So please make sure you vote. And I would challenge you above all else, we have people here that represent my campaign, people here that represent Jack's campaign, that's the beauty of America, the fabric of America, of Davis County, of Kentucky, of America, is that we are made of many threads, many threads. This makes us stronger, this makes us better. But this is a government of and by and for the people, only if we the people take this seriously. I would challenge you please to vote your values and not your party. You have the opportunity in this election to vote your values and not your party. And I would challenge you to do so. I am grateful to stand before you as the one in this race who's endorsed by Kentucky Right to Life. I am pro-life and unapologetic about it. I'm grateful to stand before you as the one who in this race is endorsed by the NRA, not the one with a C rating from the NRA. And I'm proud of that. I'm grateful for the fact that I'm also endorsed by the Gun Owners of America and by the National Federation of Independent Businesses because the fabric of our community is also comprised of the people who go to work every day and bust their tails to pay for everything that we have in this great nation. I stand before you humbly. I ask for your vote. I'm one guy. I don't have a magic wand. I'm not a guy that's been a politically elected person. I grew up below the poverty level, but I have truly lived the American dream. It is a real thing. I was blessed to serve this nation in uniform. I served as an active duty army officer. I'm a guy who's now a small business owner. I'm the father of nine children. And my pledge that I will make to you is that I will fight for you like I would fight for my own children. And I will defend this state at every turn from overreach by the federal government and from any other things that would assault us like I defended this nation when I wore her uniform 25 years ago. Thank you for being here and God bless you. Thank you.